The view from Gaza. Homes being blown up and torn down by the Egyptian army right next to the Gaza border. The sudden demolitions have caused distress among Palestinians living there. Abdul Hamid Zurub is a Palestinian living on the border. We don't know what to do. We're living in fear on this border. No one is stopping them from using bulldozers and they use massive amounts of explosives. It's a disaster. We're living in fear on the border. When I'm hanging the laundry, I'm afraid of another explosion. The window broke yesterday after an explosion, and another one can happen at any time. The destruction seems to be part of Cairo's plan to create a security zone between Gaza and Egypt. The government wants to stop all arms smuggling into Gaza and to prevent fighters from entering its territory. Last week, Egypt said it had destroyed more than a thousand tunnels linked to Gaza. The underground tunnels have been used for years by Palestinians to bring in food and goods. They've also been the main source of income for the Hamas leadership in Gaza. On Tuesday, Hamas accused Egypt of crimes against humanity after it closed the Rafah crossing. The crossing is the only exit in Gaza not controlled by Israel. Israel has blockaded the tiny strip of land since 2007. And now Gaza's only other lifeline to the outside world could be completely sealed off. Haider Abbasi, Al Jazeera, 